Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna present to you uh, our next project. It's gonna be a 2004 Boxster S. Uh, it is a 3.2 naturally aspirated and we is completely stock. Engine is running, we can hear nothing. So we about to test what it puts down to the wheel, completely stock and then we're gonna be doing some, uh, some modifications on the exhaust. We're also gonna be doing a bigger throttle body. Uh, we're probably gonna be doing a uh, intake plenum. Uh, off of a GT3, we're gonna be doing uh, a snorkel delete and very, very affordable modification on a very affordable Porsche. I know it's kind of hard to believe that Porsche can become affordable at some point, but these cars are pretty cheap out there. You can get uh, a good example for anywhere from 10 to 15,000, and this one is no exception. So let's see what it put down and let's stay tuned. Well guys, we got the pass done. We got three passes on our best. It's looking to be 214 and 192 pounds of torque. Now this is our baseline, meaning that we have some work to do. And this is actually the SAE number. So the low, the low reading, let's see what the standard readings are. 221 and 195. Well, that means that uh, we have some homework. I do want to have this thing putting down close to 300 to the wheels, 290 to 300, I'll be happy with that. It is a big achievement if we, if we can actually make it happen with the little modification that we're going to be putting on. But stay tuned for this one because this video is going to be pretty good. All right, guys. So this is a naturally aspirated car. Um, and most of you guys know to make a car more powerful, you need to let it breathe. A very popular modification is the snorkel delete. And uh, among the modification that we're going to be doing, so we have headers, we have mid pipes, we have a cat back. Um, I'm gonna be putting on the uh, the intake throttle and so is the intake pipe and int intake itself uh, the plenum and definitely we're gonna be tuning the car but before we do that I really want to tell I really want to see uh, what what actual power we get out of every modification we end up doing and sometimes uh, or not sometimes, but definitely this is one of the most popular. A lot of people swear by it and a lot of people say it brings anywhere from three to seven horsepower. We're about to find out. So we have a dyno here and there's nothing better than real proof. So let's take a look at this. Um, I've seen a couple of instructions and video on how to take this off. This is the first time I'm gonna take this off. There's a little uh, screw over here on the bottom. There's some pulling we gotta do and make sure we don't crack anything. There we go. Well, there go some clips. There you go. Lay your hand. Nah, that's pretty normal nice for a 20 year old car. All right, so I can see the snorkel. I can see the screen that is the protector uh, for it. And there's another screw right here. out see if I can get that little screen out of there and there it is the easy modification and here's your okay he doesn't want to come out for sure <laughs> I'll take a look at it take a look over there all right, that is gonna be the pipe that we're gonna be removing. Now, let me see if I can get it out. Got myself some pliers. See if I can pull this thing out. <laughs> Good thing we're not gonna be using this thing anymore. Let's see. I mean, it's brittle plastic. It's been there for almost 20 years. Don't really expect much. And it's literally just in there. Keep 
There we go. That's it. So, got the little tabs over here, but the plastic is so toasty and so hard and stiff. Definitely doesn't want to come out easy. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what the, the opening looks like now. And now we're about to put it right here on the dyno. Show you the evidence of what it really does. A lot of people also say that it brings a lot of noises. So let's see this thing because this thing is very quiet. What do you think, Jake? I think you still got to do the other side. <laughs> no, it's only one side though. Oh, really? Yeah, the other side is just a fan extractor for. It's just a fake vent. No, no, no. It, it's a fan extractor. It just, it just literally just removes heat from the engine bay. Remember, the engine is back here in the back yeah i'm still yeah yeah i know you're still learning about this yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why you're not a tech yeah yeah that's why you're just in the office yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right let's uh let's see what we uh we got we put the thing back on for whatever is left from it right, just, it just let's see Well, you know what? I know there. I know I want the opening and everything, and there's gonna be a filter, but it might be a good idea to put the screen back on. All right, well, we got the screen back on. Definitely, I was not gonna make a huge difference. And to avoid insects or debris to go in. This has a little way of going in and out. What do you think? Oh, I hope it's a little faster. Be cool. What's it supposed to sound like? I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's see. A lot of people say it's uh, bringing the engine noise to life. Let's find out. Well, guys, let's find out exactly what that makes, if any. So let's get it. Jake, you got me? Yeah. Exactly what we wanted to have a baseline with a slight mod modification to see if it, uh, if it changed anything at all. Uh, we clearly saw it didn't do it. So uh, let's continue going with the uh, uh, let's continue with the other one uh, on the next video. Stay tuned. 